Okay, I need to address a really common question that I get as an interstitial cystitis dietitian. The question is, how long does it take for a diet trigger to cause an increase in your symptoms? The answer is, it depends. It could take anywhere from 30 minutes to up to three days for symptoms to present after eating the trigger item. It's going to depend on a few things. So it'll depend on how sensitive you are. How sensitive your bladder is it'll depend on what the item is that you consumed how much of it you consumed if you have any other triggers at play like did you have a stressful day are your allergies acting up are you going through you know your ovulation uh period of your menstrual cycle there's a lot of factors and each person has their own unique response so for me if i consume a diet trigger it usually presents itself the next day. So usually the following morning is when I call it a bladder hangover happens. But for other people, it can happen almost instantaneously. And for others who are not so lucky, it can happen two to three days later, which can make things very difficult to pinpoint. Best way to figure out what your body's response is, is to conduct an elimination diet. This way you'll know exactly what your body's response is to each item. You'll know, you know, okay, I can't have this on days where I'm feeling stressed, or I have to have this with pre-leaf, or I can only have this once a month. So really learning your limits will increase confidence with eating. And that way you'll know if you eat a trigger and you know that exact response, you'll know how to prepare for it. It's like having a cheat code to beat your flares. So how do we conduct an elimination diet? Well, I'm gonna teach you that in a masterclass on the top five elimination diet mistakes that I will be hosting at the end of the month. Head to the link in my bio now to register for that masterclass. I hope to see you there.